was a career high for me. Oh, I fucked up, guys. Could you? Could you, could you show me the photos? That's the first time one of my models down here has asked me that. Of course you would. Of course you would. But I love that the last thing you'll ever see is yourself through my camera eye. Too perfect. My bad. Thanks for reminding me. There's nothing more innocent than a teenager's diary. Oh, look at your selfies. What a waste of talent. Look at that shot, Max. You can do so much better. to go back? Is that what I gotta do? Oh my god. I can go all the way back. Oh my god. Wait, what? I can go all the way back to the moment this all started. Max, this could be your chance to fix everything. For good. I wish you could see yourself now. Desperation. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word. I'm back. Right back where I started this insane week. And nobody is going to hurt Chloe ever again. It's been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry. I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, trying to figure out what it, wait, since what? you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self portrait? The way a movie film burns. Yeah, she remembers everything. The thing is. Like, when you come back, you have all the information, like, all the photos, and you have, like, all the tools that are in your hands. I'm not into capturing, I'm not into capturing your interest. Kind of sick. That's kind of sick, isn't it? Yeah, word. <laughs> I guess somebody hasn't had their coffee. Do you want to try again? Do you want to try okay, again? Okay, okay, the Daguerrean process. Blah, blah, blah. blah, blah. Let's, let's, let's move on. Hmm? Uh, anyway, so, uh, anyway, so the Daguerrean process made portraiture quite popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear, defined features. You can learn more when you finish reading the assigned chapters. 
Hey guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo when the everyday time heroes come. to change time. San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the First, army. let's make it real easy to capture Mark Jefferson. So get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Bastard. I have to warn David about Jefferson and the dark room. I should be able to track down David's number from the school pamphlet. Found you. For once, David, I'm praying you'll overreact to this as much as everything else. And I love him from the beginning. Jerry down fast. <laughs> You wanted me to enter the contest, asshole. So maybe I'll be going to San Francisco. And Jefferson, you'll be going to prison. The past within the past. Am I pushing myself too hard? It doesn't matter what happens to me. I have to save Chloe. Mr. Jefferson, we need to talk. Uh. Can you see I'm talking to Mr. Jefferson now? I can see you're kissing ass again. Nothing new. What did you just say? Hold on, Victoria. Are you okay, Max? There's no nails. Not until Victoria knows that hiding behind a screen and posting videos of people is totally fucked up. You know how easy it is to hurt somebody? To destroy their life? Are you proud of yourself? If you have any feelings left, you should think about your actions. Listen, I, I, didn't. I, I didn't. Of course you did. You're so insecure, you can't even be happy with your own town. Yo, look at this fearless that she's fierce as fuck now. Me. So, is this a shot that's just gonna be me erasing everything? Bullshit. Do I, Mr. Jefferson? Well, it looks like you already did, Victoria. Then, I guess I'm done talking. I sure hope so. I'm not going to say I didn't enjoy that, but why? Why? Here's my photograph for the Everyday Heroes contest. Oh, uh, that was easy. No, it wasn't easy at all. Well, I, uh, I, I can't prejudge yet, but I'm very happy you decided to enter. That means a lot to me. And Blackwell. The, the first step for any artist is to put themselves out there in the world without fear. To be innocent. I mean, at this point, does it matter if I talk to Kate? Because aren't I going to like finish everything Thanks beforehand? Thanks for the photo. <gasps> maybe both of us will be jet-setting to San Francisco this Friday. Or maybe only one of us will hey. be going. Don't be so modest, Max. Anything can That you're right. Because you're going to find out, Mr. Jefferson. I might still have the chance to talk to her. Is this the end? Whoa. 
Wait, what? Okay. You're okay, Max. You're safe. I'm on a plane. Oh, I know. We'll go to bed soon. We'll go to bed soon. I hope I did everything right. I hope I did everything right this time. Good work, David. Never been on a plane before. We're almost in San Francisco. I'm so stressed, but I'm so excited too. Aww. Aww. I you haven't seen Hot Dog Man in forever. Well, Chloe and I used to totally play the video game and watch it for all the time <laughs> when we were innocent. I have to admit, I love being called an artist. It's so weird to be in between realities. Everything is it's a long way in the distance. Wait, what? How is that possible? You happy now, Roxanne? I petted you. Jefferson and the Prescotts. Please fasten your seat and stow any electronic gear until the plane is on the ground and at the gate. Thank you. We're starting our descent in a few minutes. It's a beautiful day in San Francisco with clear skies and cool 60 degrees. We hope you enjoyed your trip and we thank you very much for choosing Pacific West Air. Come fly with us anytime. Uh, uh, I don't think so. I'm hoping these airline seats get smaller so I won't have to fly at all anymore. It's the longest episode? In an hour? Only an hour? How did you sleep? How did you sleep? Hope I wasn't snoring out loud, Max. Just a bit. Just a bit. <sighs> it's been a tough week at Blackwell. So I hope you'll forgive me. Between Mr. Jefferson and Prescott's, things have been excellent. I totally get it, Principal Wells. I see daylight. That's a smart way of telling me to stop one. We are proud of you for representing Blackwell at the Everyday Heroes Contest. I know I'm not exactly the guy you wanted in San Francisco, but we all want you to have a great experience here. I already am, and we're not even there. Where are you? Christ. Another nosebleed? Max. You're not, just You're not just screwing around with time. Wait, what do you mean? Because isn't this the final episode? 